When we first looked at percent composition of a compound, we saw that the mass of the element divided by the mass of the compound times 100 tells us the percent by mass for each element. When we look at hydrates, we're talking about the theoretical yield. In theory, how much water is contained within this crystalline salt. The reason we say theory is because it has to do with our sample size. If we have a large sample of calcium chloride dihydrate, the calcium chloride compounds in the middle of the substance are not likely to be able to have absorbed the water from the environment. However, if we have smaller pieces with greater surface area, then we are more likely to be close to what the formula says is that there are two water compounds for every calcium chloride compound within the crystalline salt. So how do we determine the theoretical yield for a hydrate? We're going to use our same formula, except instead of mass of the element, we're interested in mass of the water. And instead of the compound, we're talking about the hydrate as a whole. So our new formula is mass of the water divided by mass of the hydrate. times 100. So we have our hydrate, calcium chloride dihydrate. On the bottom. And we look at our formula and we see that we have two water molecules. So that's going to go on top. What we do is determine the molar mass of our two waters and the molar mass of the hydrate as a whole, the calcium chloride and the two waters. I've already done the calculations and the mass of the two waters or 2 times 18.02 is 36.04 and the mass of calcium plus two chlorines plus two waters is 147.02. Let me add the times 100 in here. So 36.04 divided by 147.02 times 100 equals 24.51 by mass of water. So 24 and a half percent of the mass of calcium chloride dihydrate is